Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing an e.l.f. makeup haul for you guys. I haven't done one in quite a while, but I always get the PR packages from them, which are super sweet. If you're part of the e.l.f. beauty squad, you get all their new releases and different themed products for the season and stuff. So I recently have gotten two. One of them is a bunch of their active line products, which are totally new. They're meant to use um, like if you're going to be active, working out, that sort of thing. And then this one is a bunch of new like highlighters and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get started. Elf is definitely one of my favorite makeup brands because it's so affordable and they always have like new and trendy products and they have like staple products and stuff like that too. Um, so these are the new highlighting holographic duo. These are, um, I guess like pressed highlighter powders and I have three of them. They have two colors on each side so that's really great. Um, I'm not sure how much these retail off the top of my head, uh, but I'll be sure to link all of these products that I talked about in the blog post that goes with this video. That'll be the first link down below. So the first one here is called Siren's Call, and this one is an orange with a yellow, it looks like. So I'm going to swatch these so you guys can actually see what they look like. I'll have photo swatches on that blog post too if that helps you decide like which ones you want to get um, because it's kind of hard to see on camera. They're not even going to show up probably, um, but they're swatched right there. I don't know if you can see the orange and the yellow. Um, but they look to be like a very good texture. They feel very smooth to me, which is nice. Um, the orange is very interesting. It just kind of comes across as like an orangey gold. So if you had dark skin, I could see this being really pretty. If you had like dark olive skin, um, a really deep skin, that would be so gorgeous. The next one I see here is called Mermaid Tail. And this one is so pretty. It's like a really light pink and then a lavender here. It looks to me like the light pink is more of like a satiny color like it doesn't look quite as shimmery but it kind of has like a holographic lavender one is really intense I don't know if you can see that probably not because the lighting is so bright but there's a lavender one and then the pink one underneath and the lavender shows up pretty well on my um, yellow skin tone some of them look more intense than others like the pink definitely was not as intense as the others this one here is called blue lagoon and this one looks like a purplish blue color with kind of like a white green sea foam type color. They look um, very light in the pan, like it almost looks white, but in person you can definitely see that color. The light blue one almost looks white. You can really see this one on my skin. So there's the purple one and then the light blue one up there at the top. So out of all of these, I feel like my favorite might be this one because the blue looks really cool, looks pretty intense. And I like how these aren't real shimmery because I feel like if you're gonna wear a highlighter that's a different color, like a blue or a purple highlighter, I don't really like to see a lot of chunky shimmer or anything. I just want it to to be like a subtle um, satin finish because that's really nice because it doesn't make it too intense it's still pretty wearable if you're gonna wear like a color highlighter on your cheeks then we have the stardust glitter eyeliner this one is in sea foam this is really cool it looks like a holographic white eyeliner so I got a bunch of colors of these so I'm trying to figure out which one that I'm gonna keep and then which one that I'll save for a giveaway for you guys because I definitely don't need all these glitter liners since I'm already opening the seafoam one, I guess we will swatch that and I'll probably keep this one. That is so cool. So it doesn't look like a seafoam color in here, but then when you actually swatch that, you can see like reflective greenish blue glitter. That is really pretty. Next one is a silver. This is sparkling silver, just a basic silver glitter liner. This one is called Pink Opal, so it's very similar to that seafoam one, but this one has pink reflective pieces in it. And then this one is so pretty. This is called Shimmering Gold. I might use this for like a holiday tutorial or something. It's a really dark coppery gold. So that's it for all of that package. Now moving on to their active line. This one um, I got a couple weeks ago and I haven't got a chance to check out the products in it yet, but they look very bright, very um, interesting. Like a lot of these are different products um, that I haven't seen before. So let's get started. First thing I see is the Massaging Facial Cleanser. This looks like a vibrating cleanser. Um, I use like a sauna clear brush every day to cleanse my face. So this is gonna be interesting to try out if this is like a good cheaper alternative to that. This says vibrations cleanse and exfoliate the skin for a smooth radiant looking complexion. So I'm gonna open this up. Mine must be dead. It says that a battery is included, but mine's not working. 
So this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see um, with the lighting, but it has like these little teeth on it um, that are a rubbery soft texture. I actually really like the shape of the handle too. So you kind of just use that with a cleanser. It says pulsations provide a deep cleanse, balancing power and gentleness, unique shape and flexible silicone tips acts as hard to reach areas of the face. Best paired with e.l.f. daily face cleanser. I think I have that cleanser, so I'll have to try it out and let you guys know. I wish I could turn it on to see, but it looks like my battery might be dead. So I gotta figure out how to change that in it. So let me know if you guys wanna see a review tutorial type video on this product. These are gonna be great for the summer. This is the e.l.f. Active Post-Workout Cleansing Body Wipes. I definitely feel like I need these like for my underarms. Since I do use natural deodorant, I feel like I sweat a lot when I work out, so these would be great to keep in my bag. This says, um, no time in between the gym and going out. These portable pre-moistened body wipes are infused with hydrating aloe and can be used to remove makeup or cool down after a workout to cleanse and refresh. Breathable formula, sweat resistant, won't clog pores to keep up with the active beauty lover. That's so cool. I like how you can actually use these on your body too. I feel like I might have tried using a makeup wipe one time on my body and I just feel like it leaves it feeling greasy, so I'm sure these won't be doing that. This is cool. This is the e.l.f. Active Workout Ready Hydration Stick. It says infused with natural skin hydrants, shea butter, cocoa butter, aloe, and grapeseed oil for an instant boost of cooling hydration. The breathable formula is sweat resistant while clog pores. Um, so what are you supposed to do with this? Twist up the stick, glide onto the skin and the face, hands or elbows. This is interesting because if you're working out, why would you want something for hydration? So that's what the product looks like. And then it has another lid. It smells like deodorant. This smells really good. So I could see maybe this being useful if you like work out outside in the winter when it's cold because this would keep you from feeling like dry and stuff. Um, I might save this one for a giveaway because I don't see myself using a hydration stick, although that is a really neat idea. This is cool. This says the e.l.f. Active Post-Workout Cool Down Mist. This says the refreshing facial mist nourishes skin with replenishing ingredients and helps you cool down post-workout. Use it to set makeup or throughout the day to hydrate and maintain that just got out of yoga glow. The breathable formula is sweat resistant while clogged pores. So I definitely want to try this out. And F, Elf is really stepping it up with their packaging. This is cool. It's like a hard plastic glass feeling um, packaging and it has the lime green stripe. Let's spray it right now, shall we? smells really good and fresh and it definitely feels really nice on the face. It definitely feels cooling and different than a setting spray because it has a nice scent to it. You could probably even spray this in your hair too, like post-workout. Last thing, this is the e.l.f. Active Workout Ready Lip and Cheek Palette. This says an all-in-one palette is perfect to rate custom color for your lips and cheeks featuring one highlighter and three pig highly pigmented shades to flatter a range of skin tones. This is a won't clog pores. So this is, says it's in the color Gym Chic. So this is interesting to me because why would you wear makeup when you're working out? Like, it just seems silly. But this is what the colors look like. It looks like there's some red and then more of like a brown shade and then a coral shade and it looks like a highlighter shade. It looks like you can use this for your cheeks or your lips. I guess if you work out at a gym and you don't like going out with just no makeup at all, then this would be good since it is meant to use um, when you're working out. So I guess this would be good to like add a little color to your cheeks or add a little color to your lips, but if you're not wearing makeup, but you still look like you have some color. So I guess that's the thought there if you don't wanna just go without makeup entirely, if you're gonna be working out or just being active with other people and stuff where you don't wanna wear no makeup at all. Um, but still look pretty. So I'll save that one too for a giveaway for you guys. So I know I keep on mentioning a giveaway, but around the holidays, I'll be doing an e.l.f. like one brand makeup tutorial for the holidays. And I'll be having a huge giveaway with that where I'm giving away a ton of e.l.f. products. Since I do get these a lot, I try to save the products that I don't wanna use or just products that I think would be good for a giveaway to give to you guys in big prize packs. So, so that's it for today's video. I'll be sure to link all of these products if you're interested in getting any of them on the blog post that goes with this video. That'll be the first link in the description box down below. Be sure to leave any video requests that you might have in the comments as well. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye everyone.